What up, y'all? I just want to say a quick word to the people struggling to get in the game. All the artists struggling to get in the game. I feel like in this information age, there's a lot of advice out there. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people giving out some good advice, some bad advice. You got to sift through it. But out of all the advice being given out there, I still feel like something is missing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a particular group of people who are being ignored. No knock on the people that's out there giving good music business advice, you know? Not at all. That's great. Um, I just feel like they start at a certain level. I feel like they're speaking to people who are somewhat already established or have resources. You know what I mean? I feel like the people who are being ignored are the ones who have no resources. They don't have no friends, family, or any investors or anybody they can lean on, you know what I'm saying, for monetary reasons to try to go and invest in their career. They don't have um, a studio at home. They don't even have access to a studio. You know what I'm saying? You got artists out there that don't have anything but the song lyrics, and that's it. They don't have, you know, producers, managers they have no access they don't have any resources yet i feel like those people are being ignored when it's time to search for advice you know what i mean nobody's talking to them nobody is talking to them nobody is talking to the people who have no resources yet you know what i mean how do they get started where do they go if they don't have any way they probably never been in a studio yet you know what i mean and some of them are fighting, you know, all types of things, depression, poverty, you know, um, the world. So how do we speak to them? We need to talk to them, too. You know what I mean? We can't ignore them. We got to be able to talk to those people. We got to be able to talk to them artists out there. You know what I mean? Maybe all they got is a notebook to their name. That's it. Just a notebook, one notebook. You know what I mean? No contacts in the industry, no nothing else. How do you talk to them? Well, what I would tell them is first, survive. Survive whatever situation you're going through because without survival, all bets are off the table. We know that, you know what I'm saying? And secondly, your number one resource, your mind, your brain. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think. You gotta think your way out of certain environments. You gotta think your way into certain environments. You feel me? You got to work on that craft. You got to work on that craft so it's just phenomenal. You can't be mediocre. Keep working on your craft. You can't be mediocre and take your ego all the way out of it. You got to take your ego out because you will listen to a whole lot of mediocre famous people and you'll feel like, yo, I'm better than them, so I'm ready. And you might think you're ready prematurely because you're listening to some lucky mediocre guys who got on and you're feeling like, you know, oh, I'm better than them already, so I'm ready. Keep working. Keep working on your craft. You know what I'm saying? One, you never stop working on your craft, but keep going. Build yourself into something undeniable. Build yourself into something undeniable. I'm very serious about that ego part. Because your ego will, will really fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? And your ego will say, hey, I'm supposed to be up here. Your ego will tell you that you're ready prematurely. You know what I'm saying? Your ego will tell you that. So you got to really keep that in check. You feel me? Because you'll feel like, oh, I'm ready right now. And you'll stop progressing. You'll think that you've already arrived at the level of creation that you should be at. And you not knowing you got many, many more miles to go to be ready. You see what I'm saying? See, that ego will tell you, yo, such and such is whack on the radio. Such and such is whack on Rap Caviar playlist. Such and such is whack over here that I saw in an interview with whoever. I'm better than them. I'm ready. And then you stop working on yourself. You stop trying to be a better version every day of yourself because you think you're ready. Then when the opportunity presents itself for you to present your talent to somebody who could change your life, you go in there and you just above average. You just a little bit better than some guy on the radio. And that's not enough to prove that this person should invest in you and your career. 
You need to be all the way ready. You need to be undeniable. You need to be super talented. You need all them 10,000 hours they talk about. You need 20,000 hours. You need 30, 40, 50. You got to be super superior to anything that's out there. You can't afford it, especially if you're an artist who has no resources right now. You can't afford to roll a dice and say, well, if I'm just better than this guy, I should be good. You can't afford that. You gotta be 10 times better than that guy. And it takes work. I ain't finna sit up here and fuck around with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna tell you the truth. It takes work. It takes work. You gotta work on yourself. So when you get that opportunity and somebody is listening to you, they're blown away. They're blown away. They see the talent. They understand it your energy transfers into them and then they start moving in the direction that you need them to move in so you can go somewhere. You see what I'm saying? So always remember that your mind is your first number one resource. You might not have nothing else. You might not know one producer. You might not know one studio. You might not know how to jump into the game. But if you work on your craft, using your mind to elevate your art, and then start using your mind again to think of ways to spread it, they say don't spam. I think nobody likes a lot of spam, right? But a lot of the people who saying don't spam, they don't know your situation. They ain't never been homeless. They ain't never had no situation where they back was against the wall. You gotta play by different rules sometimes. But don't spam until you ready. Because I'm going to tell you right now, spamming to me is no different than the street teams. We used to hit up everything. We didn't care what was out there. Stickers, posters, that's what we did. We going to always do that. So some people, okay, it ain't going to work with some people because they feel like, no, I don't want to see no spam and all that. And I get that. But guess what, though? Your back against the wall, not theirs. You got to play by some different rules sometimes, but don't do it until you are ready. That's the point of this conversation, being ready. I want y'all to be so damn good that soon as any opportunity presents itself, you pick up a believer. I don't even care if the person is your auntie, your uncle, your mom, your sister, your brother. They like, yo, you really been spending time on your craft. You're good now. And when you become good, you can always improve. But when you get to that level that now I am ready to present myself, that's when you start doing your guerrilla tactics and all that to get yourself out there. I don't care what they are talking about. I don't, give, I don't care what the fuck they talking about. Don't do this. Don't do that. They telling you all this shit. Nah, but they never telling you how to get on. You feel me? They never telling you that. So my thing is. I'm trying to provide information for those who might be in a situation to where they have zero resources because we can't ignore them. We can't ignore them. That's a whole population of artists that are being ignored in the information age. And that don't make no sense. So I challenge all my music thought leaders to start thinking of ways that you can help provide information and advice to those who may have zero resources. Stop thinking about them on the level of, oh, they already got 20 songs on the SoundCloud and they shooting a link over here. Because once you get songs on the SoundCloud, that means you have already recorded. I'm talking about those who just have a notebook and that's it. I'm talking about those who just got their phone. You know what I'm saying? Let's think of ways that we could give them advice on how to get to the next level. That next level for them may just be in the studio, working on their music, their art. You know what I mean? Let's think of that. So I'm challenging all my people in the community who I love, who are giving out all this information. You know what I'm saying? They're giving out all this useful, useful information about music and the music business and how to get in the music business. I'm challenging y'all to try to figure out ways to help these people who have zero resources, you know what I mean? If you're looking at this right now, that means you have a phone, you know what I'm saying? And that's another motherfucking fantastic ass resource. With the phone, 
social media, and we already know that's another resource. But I want you to be ready, because when you're ready, you could turn, you could weaponize that phone, you could weaponize it. You know what I mean? And it could start laying stuff down for you, so you can get in this game. You can use social media. You can engage with those who even engage with you. You could put this motherfucker on a tripod and wrap your heart out because you've been practicing, rehearsing, writing day in and day out. So when you put this camera on yourself and you bar out, somebody gonna notice that. But if you do it prematurely and you just sound average or just slightly above average, it's not gonna impact nobody. There's so many rappers out here, so much noise out here. Why should I pay attention to you? It all comes back to that point. You gotta be ready. If you sit your phone on a tripod and start singing, or you a melodic rapper, and you create something that so infectious, we gotta fuck with it. Somebody's gonna notice. But if you sit this phone on a tripod and do something average, nobody cares. Build yourself up. Become undeniable. This is the advice that I'm giving you. If you got zero resources, build yourself up. Work on your talent. Become undeniable. So when the opportunity comes, and it will, because if you don't stop, that's just the law of attraction. You're going to start attracting attention to what you're doing. When that attention comes, those eyeballs come, those ears come, you need to be ready. Build yourself up. And that's if you have zero resources. You could do that. Zero resources. Use your mind. Good luck. Peace.